you went you went skinny well not skinny no dipping. I didn't go skinny dipping. I you went swimming you went swimming outside Hampton Court yeah and Chris and I swam the width of the Thames first thing we've got to do this morning is go under the lowest bridge on the Upper Thames from this angle it looks like we're not going to go under but we will do I'll leave it right to the last minute you'll be on the edge of your seat Tony no please turn that camera down Hello and welcome to today's vlog. Morning. Morning. You sound a bit depressed. Well, have you noticed I'm always steering? He doesn't do anything. What? <laughs> Try not to go into the bush, please, thank you. I don't want my boat in the Our bush. Moon. Our boat. Yes, exactly. Anyway, part two the continuing journey to Letch Lake. We had a great stopover, met the bears, that's Steve and Andy, bears aboard. If you haven't already checked their channel out, we did cruise with them on the Leicester Ring. The Leicester Ring, yeah. Um, a great fun. Uh, we haven't seen them for months and months, and they've come down the Thames. Marvellous. So we met up with them, and we had a great meal last night, and a few laughs and some drinks at the pub at Newbridge. That's it, yeah. We were at Newbridge and we've just gone through the bridge at Newbridge. In fact, it's not a new bridge at all, it's Old Bridge. That is one of the oldest bridges on the Thames, apparently. I think we're going to be going through the oldest bridge on the Thames and one of the first locks ever to be built in 18 and something or other before the war, whatever. It's not a particularly nice day, as you can probably gather. Uh, Amy Jo is behind us here, Chris and Steve and Smudge. We're going to go and find some moorings. I think the bears are going to then follow us down later. If we can find moorings for three narrowboats. It's hard enough trying to find moorings for one narrowboat, never mind three. Well, if we find a mooring, moorings for two of us, and when they come along, we can then go and breast up with Amy Jo again. Yeah, yeah, so we can, yeah, we can always do that. Um, well, that's the, that's the thing. This part of the Thames seems to be bereft of moorings, really. I can't find any official ones other than a few inches by locks. Well, do you know what? All along this left side, mm -hmm. it's moorings, but would you? Look, see well, the, the blue poles? Yeah. And it's five pound a night, no thanks. Five pound a night, no. It is a bit rough and ready. I don't even think I'll pay five pound, to be honest, but there you go. Beggars can't be choosers sometimes. I think they're okay for cruisers, small boats, but you know, on a narrow boat, you've got a, you know more to deal with. Uh, you've probably got a bit of a deeper draft in that sense. Um, so there we go. Well, we'll have a look. We'll see what we come up with. See where we get to. Hopefully, in this vlog, we will actually get to Letch Lake and have a wander around the town. I want to go to the Christmas shop. She wants to go to the Christmas shop, and it's not even. November. It's not even December yet. Not even October. <laughs> it's not even October. <laughs> Mind you, by the time this goes out, it might be October. I've no idea. But hey ho, our journey continues. very shallow ahead of course we've got a bend here as well so I want to keep clear of the inside of this bend and also I want to keep clear of the outside of the bend you tend to find that the silt builds up on the inside of any bends like this this section is very narrow. And as you've seen we've already had one boat coming round the bend meeting us going in the opposite direction coming towards us. Uh, 
and because of these bends it takes a bit of time getting from one side of the river to the other so that you can have a better sight line and also that you're away from oncoming boats. This is slightly wider down here but it has started to rain unfortunately so the camera may be going in I'm afraid you might also notice that it's getting a bit windy which doesn't help matters in a narrow boat or any boat for that matter we've actually got storms forecast for the next couple of days so that's why we decided to move today to go and find a mooring that we can stay at while these storms blow over. First lock of the day, Shifford Lock. I think there's some water coming in. Woo! It's been like a slalom course on the way here, as you probably saw. There we go. Jan and Chris are going to get a shower, I think. Yeah. <laughs> if you're watching this on Amy Joe's live stream, put a raincoat on, wellies and a hat. It's the water point. On the right, in the green box. Okay, thank you. Okay. I don't think we can double up though. That green box there is the water point. Amy Jill is going to do the water first and then we'll get onto the tap. Despite it being the environment agency, the flow on these taps is incredibly slow. Usually that's because it's on an island somewhere and they're trying to get the water supply to a sort of like a remote place like that is usually quite tricky. But bear in mind we're on mainland as it were and also the fact that the lock keeper's house is only a hundred yards away from here you'd think that a mains water supply would give you a nice flow of water but seemingly it doesn't so that means boaters have to spend an inordinate amount of time waiting to fill up which in these circumstances clogs up the lock landing So back on the move again, Amy Jo's taking the lead this time. We've had a look at the map, there's a couple of possible places we could moor up, but until we get there and have a look, no idea. Because of course, like we said before, this is all new water to us, so haven't got a clue what to expect. a little bit brighter than earlier. We did have a bit of sunshine whilst we were filling it with water, not a lot. But at least it stopped raining. It's very flat round here, it reminds me of Norfolk and the Fens. Other than a couple of forests and little hills, that's about it in terms of features across the landscape. I think that's a bird hide. We're still trapped in the green. Can't see anything outside at the moment. This green corridor goes on for quite a few miles and obviously for quite a few bends as well. It's getting 
getting windy now because we've got some open countryside. We've lost the shade of all the bushes, trees and hedging. We've also got some blue skies. And I think we're coming up to some moorings, hopefully. Tadpole Bridge, I think you can see before us. I think Steve may have found a mooring. Steve's going to um, get in first. I think he can just about do it. And then we'll raft up alongside. And then, because he's on a bend, if this little cruiser moves off after lunchtime then we can reverse back. Morning everybody. There's sunshine this morning. We had a storm last night, as predicted. A lot of rain, a lot of wind. That was the storm by the way. <laughs> Not me. We're heading for Radcot today. Hopefully there's some moorings there. We've been told on the Facebook group, Thames Boaters Facebook group. Uh, it's a lovely spot to stop at and some lovely moorings apparently. So it'll be interesting to see if we can get all three boats in there. We've got to stop for the L Sam, empty the cassette this morning. Two of us have. We did water yesterday, so we're okay for water for a couple of days. Uh, and as, as I said, the sun's shining, so it should be a nice cruise. After the lock, the first lock where we empty the cassette, we've then got bends again. Hey ho! <laughs> I'll have to show you them on a map or something so you can just see how bad they are. Well, not how bad they are, but how acute they are. There's some hairpin bends <laughs> coming up, which which would be fine for F1 and touring cars, but narrow boats? I'm not so sure. Anyway, off we go. arrived at the first lock. The sign does say lock keeper on duty but there's no sign of a lock keeper. The other thing about the locks here at this part of the Thames is that the jetties are extremely short. You can't get two narrow boats end to end. They're obviously designed for smaller cruisers and they only probably think that small boats are going to navigate up here. Um, but it means that 
we can get on here of 60 foot and we're right at the end but then if I show you a long let's pull this out I show you along here this is our stern and there's Amy Jo just managing to get a quarter of the boat on the jetty and then the rest of it is sticking out the back oh no scrap that the lock keeper has appeared It's but well no, it's not in the river, it's actually on the facilities hut at Shifford, so I said I'd go down and take them a picture of it. Oh lovely. Thank you. You're very welcome, my dear, because that's what we have to do. You hadn't realised how close you were behind you. You were zooming. Zooming. Now it's the L sound and everything done. And we're off again. Some really nasty hairpin bends coming up, according to the map. Bit of a hairpin coming up because I know saw on a map last night there's a pillbox. I don't know if you can see that World War pillbox thing on the corner. So this is going to double back. It was right over. Well, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Maybe there's another one to come. <laughs> Who needs a ride at the seaside? Ha! This is the chicane here. It's a right-hander and then a left-hander. Reminds me of the S's at Snetterton. <laughs> Hello, all you marshals out there great unsung heroes of motor racing and cycle racing. Motorcycle that is. Another bend to the left. And it's Nigel Mansell coming in round the bend. You know what I'm like, I'll probably overdub a little bit of that. <laughs> Down to Richie's corner, the right-hander. Under the bridge, now past the bomb hole to Corum. 130 miles an hour, this long, long right-hander where it's all too easy to fly off. Good morning everybody, 
didn't think you'd want to see my face this morning so instead you can see the back of Amy Jo <laughs> we're just leaving the moorings here and this final push will take us all the way to Letchlade happy cruising everybody Oh, we finally made it to the end of the Thames. Oh, that was so windy. It was Ooh, unreal. A bit windy, yeah. <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna, just going to take a look around the town. It's a Christmas shop. It's a Christmas shop. But it's... 
What, is it closed, Steve? Yeah, it's closed. It's all closed. We can't get in until Thursday. We can't get to see Father Christmas. We can't get to see Santa. Yeah. Hello, Father Christmas. Ho, 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 little boy. Oh, can't say that. <laughs> It's a real Christmas show. But this is not a. It's not a pet shop, is it? It's not a. It's not a pajama shop. But it, what is it? It's a. It's a bit of a. I don't know what you call it. It's a bit of a everything shop. Some blown glass. Some Toby jugs up here. Teapots. But you can fix anything. I bet you can, my love. Sponsored by SO. Oh, there are some cats here, look. Oh, those onion things. Cucumber. Ah. Oh, maybe I should be in that grumpy old men's club. Ooh. Dimpled glass. Now we used to have one of these in our door and I was told that they're quite expensive. These dimple glass things. Very pretty, isn't it? I wouldn't get on a flamingo. You wouldn't straddle a, fl a flamingo or a swan. Yeah. Actually, people are there, she's talking about these. <laughs> Not a real flamingo or a swan. God, they're massive. I'm that's the nearest you'll get to a swan, Oh, legs won't. We can't paddle. Yeah, Our legs won't reach. They'll what? have to pedal. So we can sit in the back. You can have a diving Would you go on We could be the backseat yeah. drivers. We could be the backseat drivers, yeah. I bet you they're closed now. I mean, yes. now, but... Summer. Summer. We're now in September, so I bet you that's it. And weekends probably. Oh. There we go. That was a quick whiz round. I know. Wasn't everywhere, but um, nice, no. isn't it? Oh, I think it's lovely. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah. Yes, yes. We're going to stay here for a few days. Uh, there's a deal on if you stay a week, so I think we're going to take that up with the £25 landowner. Twenty five pounds for yeah. the week. Twenty five pounds for the week. It's so like three pounds something a night. Be daft not to. Uh, plenty of hostelries to take refreshment from. Oh, so we've already had a coffee, haven't we? Well, in yeah. Sourdough. <laughs> yeah. So we'll have a go at that. Um, be great. And we know that Wes and Amy from Boat Time UK are on the way down here. Oh, they're just going to do it all in one day, yeah. knowing them. Because <laughs> yeah. they only cruise on a Saturday and Sunday, don't they? Yeah. Because Wes works. And... So it's a bittersweet, really, because we'll be saying goodbye to everybody in a few days' time. But this is also the end of our... It's not just the end of the Thames for big boats like us, um, but it's also the end of our Thames cruise in terms of vlog series. This is the last one. Uh, I doubt we're going to be filming anything on the way back. The weather doesn't look particularly good, as you can see. It's it's grey. We've had a few nice days, um, and I think there's a couple more planned. But on the whole, 
the weather's going to be a bit autumnal I think considering that's the time of the year so this is the end if you've enjoyed this entire Thames series I have don't forget to give this vlog a thumbs up if you haven't seen the others I'll put a link somewhere down there uh, to all the other ones we do put all of our vlogs in order um, so they're all numbered at the end and they're all listed in the end so there's plenty of playlists if you go on um, either online onto a laptop a computer or a tablet or a phone however you're watching but not on a TV um, you'll get all those options if you've enjoyed this series and all the other series that we've done and all the other vlogs um, apart from thumbs up and subscribing and everything else don't forget watching all of this is totally free you don't have to have a license to do so you don't have to have a subscription or pay for a subscription everything you see from our vlogs is totally free to you However, if you'd like to contribute and make a contribution to us for providing these vlogs free to you, then you could um, do one or two things so that you know that it comes straight to us and not via a third party like Patreon or YouTube. Then you could buy us a coffee, as Jan says, yeah. yeah. Or in Jan's case, probably buy us a GNT no. or a red wine. wine. Uh, links are all down below. Um, or you can, there's a new thing that YouTube have put up. Uh, it's like a super thanks. I think so it, just like a thumbs up but this is like a thumbs up with a few quid thrown in S thumbs up yes yeah, like a, oh it's like a, it's called i think ah. it's called super thanks so in just the same way you put a thumbs up to say thank you very much we enjoyed this there's also a thumbs up with a payment option as well lots of thumbs ups here yeah <laughs> <God>. <laughs> anyway going back to the original thumbs up thumbs up for a like subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and then don't forget to press the bell icon. Ding! And of course, YouTube will then notify you next time we upload a vlog. When will that be? Where will that be? Who knows? Who knows? We might take uh, a week or two's break from vlogging, so you might not see anything for a couple of weeks, although we might put something up in the meantime, some of that slow TV. We've got plenty of um, footage from the bow cam, uh, which gives you sort of two hours plus of uninterrupted views and all the natural yeah, don't sounds. Don't bore them now, don't, don't bore them now. <laughs> In the meantime, <laughs> sorry. Sorry if I'm boring you. Yeah. But I'm just explaining what two might happen. Two hours of watching us. No, 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 what, not watching us, watching the views. Oh, right. It's, it's two hours well, from the yeah. front of the camera. Oh, that's true. Yeah. It's called yeah. slow TV. You can just yeah. put it on, fall asleep, wake up and look where we are. <laughs> <laughs> I know some people like it, some people don't, but they are, there you go. Um, it just means that we get a break from filming for a couple of weeks. Well, you do. Yeah. Well, you have to put the GoPro up anyway. In the meantime, stay safe, happy cruising, everybody. Bye for now, see you next time, bye.